much. I just want to be sure also that our distributor and guests can hear me. Uh, Marcy, if you can hear me, just wave. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I see Marcy there is enjoying a cup of tea, which is very nice. This is a, the business that we love, that you can actually enjoy. See the business presentation in the comfort of your home. Thank you very much, Paul. I know you're having a challenge to get home, but I really appreciate the the leadership you provide for our team in East Africa. Even when you haven't got home, you stop by the traffic to make sure that the meeting goes on. I'd like to express my sincere appreciation. As Paula said, my name is Pascal Lolo. I'm trained as a civil engineer. Uh, Betty and I live in South Africa. And we started this business very simply to make extra money. So if you'll allow me, I would like to share the screen with you before we proceed with the business presentation so that we can share with our guests, but also to remind our distributors of what this business is about. Because I, I think that though Betty and I have been in this business for the last 24 years, we always feel as if we are brand new in the business. So what is the mission of us? Our mission of business Our company develops high quality, first class products so that people can become healthier. How do you become happier? Offer you a business, but also to develop yourself as a human being to be a better person. That's me and Betty. Uh, we, we took this photo about eight or nine years ago. The reason why Betty and I started this business is very simple. We wanted to make extra money. We wanted to make an extra $200 a month because then I was working as, as a civil engineer and I thought that if we add $200 a month, that would supplement our income and cover all our expenses and debts. But after joining the business, when I understood what the business could do, I became completely consumed by it. I realized that if I put more effort in this business, I could actually earn more money. And after doing the business, I remember our first check when we started was about $3. And uh, after seven months, our income had reached $1,000. And when that happened, something changed in me. I realized that if I keep putting effort in the business, we are going to earn much more money than we were earning at the beginning. So I told Betty that I'd like to make this business my career. I kept building it, I kept building it. After three years, what we were earning from the business was three times. I remember that very well. The office late deliberately. And when I got there, my boss was upset with me that uh, you're coming late to work. It's already 10 o'clock. Why are you late? So I said, well, I was just preparing my, my resignation letter. So by the end of this month, you don't need to pay me a salary. That's how Betty and I moved to the world of financial freedom. Now, what is this business that we talk about? This business is called network marketing. What is network marketing? Network marketing is a system of distribution of goods and services, all right? But first, let me explain what it is not. Number one, this is not a get rich quick scheme. If you want to, to be very rich in two or three months, unfortunately, you are going to be in the wrong uh, presentation. This business takes time to build. We say that if you build this business within a two to five year period, you will be financially independent. That means that even if your current source of income stops, you'll be able to have enough money to support your family needs. The second thing about our business, is this is not a pyramid scheme because a lot of people, when they start business, keep asking, what is, is this a pyramid scheme? In business. Marketing simply from a company uh, near life use there's a difference between a pyramid scheme and a network marketing business. And there are three things. One is that in a pyramid scheme, there is no product or service offered to the public. Number two, a pyramid scheme collapses between six and 18 months. Number three, it is illegal and they're not regulated. Our business products. Number two, this is a 
this business has longevity. We've been in the business since 1958. I mean, the business had before I was born. So that, that should tell you that company is actually solid and we know exactly what we're doing. Number three is that we are regulated by the Direct Selling Association, which is network marketing. Network marketing is a system of distribution of goods and services. What do we do? We take the product from New Life through a distributor to the, to the public. But why is this business? In a traditional business, between the manufacturer and the consumer, they are very middle middle. I remember reading a report that if you bought a Mercedes Benz from um, in Germany, in uh, uh, Frankfurt, is it Frankfurt or what, the Java city in Germany? The same Mercedes Benz, by the time he arrived in Colorado in the USA, it's thirty thousand dollars in Germany. In by the time it arrives in in Denver, Colorado, the same Mercedes Benz is sixty five thousand dollars. Why is that? Because between Munich and uh, Denver, as men keep adding to the cost of the product, and who it? It's our consumers. So what we do in our business, we all the big men, and in between the manufacturer and the consumer, we find a distributor like myself or some stations. Now, if you're here to to learn how to build wealth. If you want to build wealth, you need to get involved in distribution. Eastern part of the town. If we open the shop here, but if you want to uh, retail people, we need to have a system. This is more than 50 countries around the world. Leverage means that you learn how money. I'll give you an example. Okay, branches. There was a problem with my connection, so I lost you there a bit. If you can hear me, please wave. Thank you very much. I really apologize for the interruption in the connection. So I'll go back to my screen. So I was explaining about the things that make our business unique. That is the key is you need to build a business and have leverage. Leverage simply means you learn how to multiply your time and your effort. Okay, I see Anna Mweni and Patricia, Patricia are raising their hands. If there is a problem, please uh, let me know. Uh, let me see if we are... Uh, Sharon, can you still hear me? Okay, thank you very much. So let's get back to how to... What is, I was explaining what leverage is. Leverage simply means you have learned a way to multiply your time and your effort. I was explaining that Absa Bank from South Africa bought all the Barclays Bank branches in the African continent. What are they actually doing? What they are doing, they are multiplying ways of getting to customers by opening branches. So that is one of the ways to increase your income earning ability. The, the fourth thing is you need consumable products. Consumable, unique, high quality products. Why is that important? Because then you have a repeat sale. You see, you and I are going to use soap at the end of this month, and you're going to buy some more. At the end of April, May, June, every end of the month, you buy soap. In fact, you're going to use soap until the day you die. What does that tell you? That dealing in soap is a good business, okay? Then uh, the next thing is you need a business system. 
What is a business system? A business system is a way of building your business so that you can have high quality. Sorry, I see a lot of people raising their hands. I don't know whether there is a problem. Let me stop sharing and see if there is a challenge. Um, I saw what Patricia Mamuyu lifting her hand. Who else lifted their hand? Pascal, now we can hear you and continue. Okay, thank you very much. Pascal, we can hear you now. You can continue. Thanks. Yeah, so <clears throat> those are the things that you need to be able to build wealth. You need a consumable product, then you have a repeat sale. The fifth thing you need is you need a business system. What, is that, what does that mean? Is that you need tools, equipment, procedures in, to be able to, for you to run your business so that you don't have to be there physically. For example, Betty and I live here in South Africa, but we've got a business in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania. We've got a business in Nigeria, uh, Botswana, Lesotho, Swaziland, uh, in the USA, in um, Sweden, in uh, Italy, in the UK. All that is part of our business. Why? Because Neolife developed a business system that does not need for me and Betty to be in those locations at the same time. All right, that is what a business system does. And the last thing is timing. Why is timing very important? Timing is very important because at this moment in the world's history, so many people have lost their job because of the COVID-19. Secondly, because of COVID-19, people have come to realize the need for very good nutrition. And how do you have good nutrition? You increase your immune system. How do you do that? You use supplements. Uh, vitamin C, chelated zinc, carotenoid complex. So we have things that helps our bodies to become healthier. And that is why it's important to have the right timing. As I mentioned earlier, by the end of June 2020, 150 million people had lost their jobs worldwide. That means that a lot of people are looking for jobs. And this is a perfect vehicle for people to start a business without a lot of investment. I mean, the average is about 60 to 70 dollars to start this business okay and in south africa to start a franchise that would be able to earn you six thousand dollars a month you'd be able you need to invest in the region of 150 to 200 thousand dollars and work for at least 24 months before you break even that means before you start making a profit all right and the number one reason for business failure is selling products or services that people don't need one of the people who really support our industry is Sir Richard Branson, he's one of the wealthiest men in the world. He started eight different businesses that reached a billion dollars. So he knows what he's talking about. And he says something quite unique. If somebody invites you to join a network marketing business, join the business even if you don't understand everything about it. Take time, be patient, learn, and gradually you're going to be very successful. So that is what our business is. But where did New Life start, start from? New Life was started by Jerry Brassfield. J Jerry Brassfield, when he was a teenager, had very poor health, he had asthma, and his mother gave him natural remedies. And when he was healed, he decided that, I think I should share this idea with people, using natural remedies to improve people's health. And that is how New Life was founded. And today, New Life operates in 50 different countries around the world. But why has New Life lasted since 1958 up to now, that is 63 years. The reason for that is very simple because Neolife believes in certain uh, principles. The first is absolute integrity and honesty. That means that when we say things to our customers and our distributors, we mean it. The company keeps their promises. Number two is people are number one. The most important resource we have in our business is people. Our customers, our distributors, our staff, and the general public. Okay, that is why the company spends very a lot of time and effort to make the best products. And that leads me to a uh, third principle is we develop products that work. I have met people who have used these products for the last 15, 20 years, and they can vouch for the products. Betty and I have been using this product for the last 25 years. Okay. The fourth thing is equal opportunity for everybody. We don't care whether you're 18 or 81, whether you're a man or a woman, whether you're a student or you're a CEO, whether you're a mechanic or a housewife. We don't care what, what your background is. 
The only thing we care about is two, three things, sorry. One, you need to have a dream and a desire to succeed. Number two, you need to be coachable. Number three, you need to work hard. If you have those things, you're going to be successful. And the last thing is a long range vision. I mean, Jerry Brassfield had a long range vision 63 years later, he's still running near life as a chairman. That shows you what the leadership vision Jerry Brassfield has for the company. Near life started in 1958 in the USA, South Africa, it came in 1971, uh, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania in 1996. If you're a guest, this business has come to your doorstep today. Okay. Now, why do people start this business? People start this business for very many different reasons. Some start the business because they want a better life for their children. Some start the business because they want to buy or build dream homes. Some start the business because they want to buy fancy cars. Some start the business because they want to buy a dream home or a holiday home. Some start the business because they want to make a lot of money. And I think that uh, making money is a good thing. You know, sometimes people carelessly say, that money is the root of all evil or the love, of, the, the love of money is the root of all evil. I agree. The love of money is the root of evil. Money is immoral. That means money is morally neutral, okay? It's people who make it good or bad. And number two, I think it's a very, I take making money very seriously because for some people, an extra hundred dollars or $200 can mean a difference between living and dying. So we take our responsibility very seriously on how to make money. Some people join the business because they want to be healthy and physically fit. So I don't know what your reason is if you're a guest while you're here. You need to think about your dream, your goals, and things you want to achieve. All right? So those are the scientists who develop our products. And why did Neolife get these scientists to develop our products? Because they wanted to build the best or research and develop the best products in the marketplace. All right, so which are these products that we talk about? We talk about four ranges of products. The first range is called the golden home care range. That is products you need to clean your home, make your, long, your home look neat for the carpets, the tiles, the kitchen, the bathroom, cleaning of the cooker if you want to wash your car. We also have some for agriculture, for example, the super grow. Farmers are very proud of, are very excited about us, uh, this super good products in East Africa. So this is a cleaning range of products. The next range is personal care range, which, which are things like hair shampoo, hair conditioner, hand and body lotion. Uh, I like to use the hair shampoo. As you, can, as you can see, my hair looks lovely. I see the ladies are looking at me with a different eye, okay. <laughs> No, our, our personal care products are fantastic. Then we have the skincare range of products. Why skincare? Because the biggest organ in your body is your skin. And the last range is the health supplements. This is the highest selling range of our products. It sells about between 58 and 62% of, of the market of the products that we sell. So how do we build our business? We did our business by doing three things every day. We call them three daily success habits. Remember, they are daily habits. If you want to build a business, you need to pay attention to your business daily. The first thing we do in our business is use the products, okay? How do you do that? By changing our buying habits. We use the product for two reasons. Number one is that we are supporting our own business. Number two, we want to recommend products to people that we also believe in. Now, because Neolife is registered in 50 different countries, we use what we call a point value system. Each product has a point value attached to it. For example, one of our cleaning products is called LDC. A one liter bottle of LDC is 10 PV. So in a month, we recommend you need to reach 100 PV. The next thing we do as a daily success habit is share the business opportunity. What does that mean? That you introduce other people to become distributors like yourself. And the goal is to teach them to duplicate what you do. That is, they do what you do. If you introduce six people, plus yourself is seven, you have built 700 PV. And if you do that, you become a manager, your income is about $45, all right? The next thing is you begin to teach the people you introduce to the business to do what you do. Let's say the person on the top right corner of the screen introduces two people each, and each of those two introduce two, you'll have built a 700 PV unit. If you do that, plus the other six gives you 1300 PV, 
that is a senior manager business and your income is about $90, all right? But that is just the beginning because the next thing we do, we teach everybody in our business to do what we do. This is an example only. It could be different from what I'm explaining in practice. So if you have six people doing 700 PV plus your own gives you 4,200 plus 100, that's 4,300, you become a director and your income is about 580 to $700, all right? The other thing we share is the products. What does sharing products mean? It means that we retail or sell products to people who are not interested in the business. If we do that, we get customers and because we are distributors and we buy the products at a discount of 20%, we make a profit of 20% from our customers, all right? The third thing we do in our business is personal development. What does that mean? That we aim to become leaders in our business through training, support, and personal development. Um, reading books, attending seminars, uh, listening to CDs, uh, being able to give presentations, training people how to become business leaders. This is what we do. And we do this through your sponsor. That is the person who invited you to the business and the support structure that we develop in, in our respective countries, okay? But you see, some people are not interested in only 580 or $700. They want to earn more. If you want to earn more in the business, teach the people you've invited to become directors also. If you train one person to be a director and, you're, and your business reaches 10,000 PV for three months, you become a Sapphire director and your income is about $1,000. If you help three, sorry, if you help three people to be directors, you become a Ruby director and your income is about $2,000. If you help six people to be directors, your income goes, you become a president's team member and your income goes way beyond $5,000. So um, I would like to stop here. And in, Paul, I don't know whether you can hear me or... Hi, Paul. All right. Paul, can you hear Pascal, me? Hi, Pascal. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I would like you to invite our guest, uh, some young person whom I really admire. Right. And uh, I think the thing I can tell you about this, this gentleman is that I learned from him how to dress. He dressed very sharply. So Paul, welcome our guest. Thank you so much, Pascal, for that uh, session that you have just given us. I'm sure our distributors and the guests have been able to learn one or two things. So without much ado, I want to take this opportunity to welcome our guest, a young man who is doing this business uh, full time. And he has been able to help so many people to be able to change their lives. So I want to welcome our whole team member, Fred Mirig, if you can hear me. Yes, Paul, I can hear you. I hope I'm clear. Yes, you are clear. Go ahead. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Pascal. Uh, it's really a pleasure to be in such a platform all over East Africa and Africa at large. Uh, for our guest, my name is Alfred Muriki. I'm very excited to talk to you this evening. Uh, this opportunity found me immediately after my high school. A friend of mine actually introduced me to business. I remember at that time I had been given an opportunity to join the University of Nairobi to do my degree in electrical engineering. And I thought, you see, I'm set for life. But when I talked to my friend, I realized that uh, there is more to life. Because uh, yes, he was a student like myself. He was taking medicine to be a medical doctor. But I realized uh, that he told me that, friend, I don't know what to be employed. I don't want to practice medicine for money. So I really wanted to know what exactly he was doing to make sure that he doesn't want to be employed. But I came to realize he was involved in this particular opportunity. He had done the business for uh, around three years. At that time, we were making close to $1,000. So I was invited for a session like this one. The difference was it, it was not a Zoom call. Those days, we never had the virus. It was a physical meeting. And uh, when I went to the presentation room, I found all caliber of people. I found young people like myself, I found uh, people like Pascal, who are professionals in their field. They had, uh, you know, worked it out out there and they realized that whatever they were getting was not enough. So they kept the business to supplement their income. 
you know, like at least it's a confirmation that if these people are doing this business, it means I also have to go through the process of uh, working so how well, they realize that the money is not enough and they look for an opportunity. So I tell my soul, if this opportunity is as good as they are saying, I'm going to be part of it because I don't want to work for 10, 20 years and then I realize I need an extra income. I found that the young people who are actually making money. I saw someone who was 19 years of age. The company was paying for over 80,000 shillings. That's my soul. If this young man can be able to do this business, there's no difference between me and him. The only difference was that he would be the business for quite some time. To cut the long story short, they presented the business just as Pascal has said. And uh, I cannot really tell you I understood everything. I didn't understand everything. But I understood that if you can help someone to be part and parcel of this particular opportunity, you are going to help a lot of people. That is what I understood. And uh, the person who had introduced me just gave me a promise that if I build this business for you know, three to six months, I should be a director making an average of between $300 to $1,000 since I work so hard. But what excited me most was he talked of through the product that the company has, I could make daily profits. We are talking around in between 500 to uh, 3,000 Kenya shilling each and every single day. So when I heard about the daily income, I got really excited about the potential of the business. Yeah. When he talked about I can be able to make good money, I looked at the opportunity to be in a position to pay my whole school to start university, being a firstborn. Uh, being a, a, a got by three sisters with my sick mother, I realized that I can help my mother to take good care of us. So I decided to be part of the business. Yeah, I remember even the money to get started, I had to sell my phone to be part of the business. When I started, there were people who were there to help me. Just for the girls who are here today, the team which is here is going to help you to build the business. I didn't know, I didn't know much about the business. But they were willing to take me through everything that was required for me to be successful in this particular opportunity. So after starting, I was able to use the products, as they say, and I was able to return some of them to my friends. I could make profits on a daily basis. So the pocket money at the university was quite easy to get it because I didn't have to go back home and ask for some money to survive. The business could actually provide. After building the business for, for quite some time, after three months, I built a network which was more than 30 people. They call me a director. As a director, that's when I got my first check back in the door, more than 30,000 shillings. After six months, my business was paying me over 40,000. After a year, I was getting like 50,000 shillings. After two years, after 12 years of age in the business, I was getting roughly around 80,000 shillings. I looked at this money. And the greatest investment I've been able to do with the money from this business was to pay my own school to the university and also help my mother pay school fees for my siblings through high school or the university as well. And by the time I was graduating, the business had paid me so much money that I didn't see the need to go out there and look for a job because I built a career out of this particular exciting opportunity. And like I can surely tell you, so far it has been a very exciting journey for me. Last day is when I realized what I've taken up because when others, my friends out there, uh, were being sacked or losing their jobs each and every single day, the business was providing for me. Every day, the business was providing everything that they actually needed because I could make profits on a daily basis and be able to share the business with other people. And let me tell you, I never signed up for this. When I became a director, the company takes you for leadership school. I remember also through this business, they took me for leadership school at the Windsor for lifestyle to be trained on how to do the business even in a better perspective. I remember they got the cream de la cream of the business in West Africa. When I went to Windsor, you are given a whole big room by yourself with two large beds. And my questions to Paul was like, well, like Paul, what do I do with two beds? That was like, Fred, I want to wear it. I want to wear it. And all these things, I was like, really, do I deserve this kind of life? And when I was at the Winston, when I came to see life, yeah, people enjoyed life with a bigger school. You're putting a 5,000 acre, acre land. That is where the, the Winston is built. And when you wake up in the morning, the exciting part of that place, when you actually open the windows, maybe the curtains, 
what you see is a very nice golf course and a petition later they set on the golf course. The people you see there, the ministers of the government, people that you think they're not in your league, but real life actually gets you to their league. When I became a royalty because of this exciting opportunity, they also paid a trip for me to go to Dubai for a full week. I've never traveled abroad again, but because of this opportunity, I was able to go the plane, fly Everest to be precise, all the way to Dubai. I was excited to go to the airport on my first day. I thought, you know, going to the airport is an exciting thing. We have the best airport. But when I got to Dubai, that's when I realized that our airport, actually, for those who have been Nairobi, they come a country bus because ours is actually so old. Yeah, but when you look at the Dubai airport, one of the biggest airports in the world. Yeah, where they took me the hotel I slept, it was more than 40 floors. Yeah, and I was asking myself, could I really? I've been in such places if I never get this exciting opportunity. Remember, the only thing I wanted was to get some pocket money to survive at the university and help my mother pay uh, my school fees at the university. What if I say no to this business? Where could I be today? I've been able to build a career as a business person that many people out there, they work for 30 years, 40 years, then they realize they should be in business. I thank God to me, I started at Alali in 19 years to build a business for myself. Yeah, and being your own boss at that uh, early age should, gives you that uh, possibility of a better tomorrow. If I've been able to do this business from such a humble beginning, I do know for sure that everybody who is, who is with this call, as long as you have a vision, as long as you know exactly what you want to achieve in your life, I do know for sure that you can be able to achieve bigger things more than even what I've been able to achieve, be able to achieve through this business. God bless all of us. Have a great evening. Thank you so much, Pascal. Thank you very much, Fred. You know, every time I hear Fred's story, I always wish every young man would actually grab hold of Fred Murigan and ask him, Fred, what's the secret? Because I know there are very, very many young people without jobs, and they are hoping the government will give them jobs. If you're a young person and you're a guest, listen to the advice of Fred, get serious with life and get started in the business. Speak to the person who invited you, we'll show you the business. But to finish up, one of the things that our company has done is to make sure this business is as efficient as possible. So that is why you can do this business wherever you are. Some of the things you can do in this business just from your house or from your office or as long as you have a uh, uh, internet line, you can order products online without leaving the place you are in. If you want to register new distributors, you can register online. If you, the moment you register in the business and you become a distributor, the company creates and builds for you your own uh, back office or website. It's called a back office where you can monitor and manage your business. Training is done locally and internationally online. As you can see, there are people from all over the, the, the all, all different countries attending this meeting. I've seen Sabina from Sweden. I saw somebody from the USA. Yeah, I think it's uh, Justin Marangu. There are people from Tanzania, from Uganda. There are people from South Africa. I've seen uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kingu. So you can build this business as long as you have internet connectivity from anywhere around the world. Delivery of products. The, product, the, the company contracts courier companies to help you deliver products to your customers. Payment, if you want to buy products, you can do the payment online or by mobile transfer if your country has mobile transfer. Payment of bonuses and commissions, you can done by electronic funds transfer or mobile transfer. So there are different things. You know, Fred was talking about going to Dubai. Uh, me and Betty were privileged to attend the Ruby Orientation School in the Santon Hotel in Johannesburg in 2019, where you spend four glorious days paid for by the company. They look for you. You live in fantastic rooms. I mean, for me and Betty, this was an, a, a honeymoon number. I don't know which one. And the company treats you very well. Why? Because you have built a huge network for the company. So, and in this meeting, we had people from Nigeria, we had people from Tanzania, we had people from Namibia, we had people from Mozambique, we had people from uh, uh, Uganda, from South Africa, people from different 
parts of Africa who meet together to share their success and also learn how to build a bigger business. So if you're a guest, this is what you need to do. This is how you get started. Speak to your sponsor or the person who invited you. They'll give you an application form to fill. You'll pay your registration amount. In South Africa, it's between 690 and 2,700 Rand. If you're in Kenya, it's 7,360 or 8,970. In Nigeria, it's 17,500 or 22,500 Naira. In Tanzania, it's 14,500 or 17,700 Tanzania shillings. In Uganda, it's 203,900 or 242,500. In the USA, it's 90, $99. In Sweden, the premium kit is 1,025 kroners. So if you're a guest, speak to the person who invited you. Success begins with that is decision. Motivation will get you started. It's discipline and habit that will keep you on the road to success. So remember, if you, have, if you do what you've always done, you will get always what you've got. But if you change, if you make a decision to get started in the business, in two to three years time, you'll be able to do what others are, are not able to do because you'll have earned the income and the, and the lifestyle to be lead exceptional life. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much. If you're a guest, speak to the person who invited you, tell them you had to start the business yesterday. If you're a distributor, get out in the field, speak to people about our business and may God bless you and may God fulfill your dreams until they become true. So, Paul, I want to hand over back to you to close our meeting. Uh, thank you so much, Pascal. You know, it is quite interesting that uh, even when I'm still in the traffic, I can still do a meeting with over 350 people together with the leaders who are on this call today. So there is no excuse at this point why you shouldn't be able to do what you love. And uh, it has been proved by the meeting that we had. Pascal, thank you so much for being there for us and uh, taking us through the process. And Fred Mirigi, thank you so much again for also sharing your story, which is quite motivating to people of all ages to be able to understand what New Life can be able to do for them. So from me, Pascal and uh, Fred, I just want to thank you for logging in and tuning to our meeting today. Uh, so our guests who are on this call, just like Pascal has told you, please talk to the person who invited you to this call this evening they will be able to help you to see how you can be able to start this business. And who knows, in the next two, three years, you could be the person who is sharing your story with us of how you have been able to transform your life. So thank you so much for logging in. We want to thank you for that and taking time to be with us. So from me and uh, the rest of the team, we want to wish you a lovely evening. Thank you so much and God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everyone. Good night. Thank you, Pascal. Good night. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Fred, thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Isaac. Angeline, Mercy, Sharon. Goodbye. And Mercy Wairimu, I saw Mercy Wairimu really reading a lot and studying her books. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, Pascal. Bye. Bye-bye.